If you've been having the dreams of having Verdance flashbacks and you remember the Doof Doof or the R90 shotgun, we are back at that now with the new introduction of the KV broadside. This shotgun is utterly broken. <laughs> I'm gonna hate this. The KV broadside is a semi-automatic shotgun that holds by default eight shells, can be upgraded to 12 or 25, blah, and blah. has an astronomical time blah, to kill blah, blah. when using Dragon's Breath rounds. Similar to the R90 from Verdansk, this weapon just utterly clears rooms and anybody within range to find them. Now, this is even a little bit stronger now considering how less mobility that we have in Warzone 2 compared to Warzone 1. As you're going to see from all the clips, this thing is just busted. This shotgun is not is not fair. The Dragon's Breath already does a ton of damage. The increased rate of fire with the dash bolt is insane. Uh, this is the hip fire laser, which increases also my laser or my sprint to fire speed, which is again unnecessary. The ZLR Sport gets you way more range than you deserve to have on a shotgun, and then you combo that with a choke, and you're just running into just a massive mess of a shotgun. Um, I would probably recommend replacing your Finnick with this if you had it in a loadout. Uh, I would actually almost even consider replacing it uh, like any MP5 or Vesnavs with this um, for right now because this thing's going to be broken and people are going to start using it. So I would say abuse it now while you still can. Um, I comboed it with the, uh, the TAC-M, which is already not that good, but its recent buff made its ra uh, rate of fire pretty usable. But if you had a good AR that you just re that you could believe in, like a, a 7.62, like the Kostov 762 would probably be perfect to, to blend this with. Or you could run it with a M4 or an STB. Pretty much any of the good mid-range ones. Or even the M13, its recent buff made it semi-competitive. So you could run it with a good mid-range AR and this KV broadside. And I think that you would completely remove lobbies from the game. On top of all of that, with the recent adjustments of tuning, you can now tune lasers. So increasing your hip walking speed and your hip fire spread makes this thing disgustingly strong when comboed with, again, the barrel and the choke. I'm showing you some of the tunings here so that way you can grab some of them for a little bit more fun in the war zone. Now this is the moment where we all agree to not use this against each other because it's extremely broken and there's no way that all of you are adjusting your classes right now specifically to include this. You know what, I can't stop you, but at least if you're gonna do it, have fun, don't use it on me, and if you do put it in your loadout, drop a sub on the channel and uh, share the video with somebody so they know why they're being absolutely fried on Warzone. 
Thank you so much for checking out the video. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, peace.